So, as you guys probably know, Sims announced a new pack, which was Wedding Stories. We actually got an invite to this wedding. However, I was unable to attend the wedding on the day because I had other engagements to attend to. However, I still want to react to this pack because as you guys know, weddings are something I have found particularly frustrating in The Sims. Akira, what are you doing, babes? You're, you're, you're gonna get deleted. I'm gonna have to delete you if you just keep doing that. Why are you wearing a wife beater? Get out of the way of the wedding, Akira! You're ruining everything. I hope everything goes the way it should do. Wait, 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 wait. Did I click the wrong place? This is not, did I click, what? Did I click the wrong place? I don't know what this is. It's a freaking car park. Oh my gosh. I can't with this game. I can't with this game. Chris is off to bed. No, guys, please sit. We're going to get married. What are you doing, Chris? I had both the kids sat then and you ruined it. You ruined it, Chris. This is the worst, worst idea. Genuinely, don't get married in a blizzard. Just don't do it. Oh my gosh, they never even started. So I thought we would check out the pack together and bravely, I am gonna try and do this in my actual wedding dress. Now, I don't think this wedding dress is gonna fit me anymore. I was very tiny on my wedding day, but we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try and react to the wedding stories Sims 4 announcement trailer in my actual wedding dress. Okay, let's see if this actually works. No freaking way. I still fit in the dress. So this is my actual real life wedding dress. I couldn't do the backup properly, but I actually still fit in it. I'm shocked. I only got married in October, but it, the struggle to get this dress on in the morning was real. It also does actually have like a 15 foot trail, but you can clip it to the dress. So it's clipped up for now. There was also a matching 15 foot veil, but I'm not about to put that on. So this is probably the last time in my whole life that I will fit into this dress. So I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to review the pack. Hopefully by the end of it, I will still be able to feel my arms because they are starting to cut off in blood circulation. Also, the noises my stomach made to get into this were interesting. I think it was trying to communicate and it was not happy. Also, I wasn't blonde on my wedding day, so this is really weird. But let's go ahead and get into the trailer first. I'm going to watch it and then we'll go back and pause on some key bits. It's only three minutes long. It's a baby trailer. Darling dear, I'm going nowhere. 
my wedding dress is making me think of my own day but i feel emotional watching that i felt so sad for the guy at the beginning because although the the girls were clearly meant to be together i can't think of anything more upsetting and humiliating than that happening on your wedding day literally that would crush me but it all worked out in the end so it's okay oh my gosh what is wrong with me having a bit of an emotional day now okay so i'm gonna flick through some bits really quickly that i spotted if you guys spot anything i didn't let me know in the comments below but there is a lot of new stuff in here cake making I'm hoping this isn't just the wedding stuff because it would be nice to be able to... You can make cakes already, but this like decorating animation... I don't know if it's kind of new. I think those nails are new as well. This dinner set looks new. This little cup looks new. Can you have like high tea? Are they adding high tea? Maybe. Maybe that is actually the previous cake animation. Maybe I did see Willow use that when... I was doing her whole baking story. Maybe so. We start off and immediately we're in the new world. So when I saw originally that they were releasing a wedding pack, I was I was actually kind of like a little bit of a negative Nancy. I was a little bit skeptical because weddings are so difficult in the game and they shouldn't be. Like it shouldn't be that difficult to get your sims to sit and watch a wedding. I thought if they're fixing a bunch of stuff with weddings, I actually am kind of annoyed because that stuff should be base game and we shouldn't be paying for an additional pack just to get a feature of the game that was there in base game to work that has worked in previous games. So I actually originally was like, no, I hate this. I'm so angry. However, after seeing the other stuff that comes with the pack, it is actually so much bigger than just making your weddings work. And we're going to talk about this a little bit further on, but there's some stuff that I'm hoping that they will release ahead of the pack releasing or at the same time as the pack releasing that will be not part of the pack. It'll just be like a fix to the game. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. But this tree immediately, which to me, it kind of looks like it's wearing a bra. This I'm going to refer to as the bra tree. This entire area here looks completely new to me. And that when I first saw that, I was like, okay, maybe there's a little bit more to this park than I originally thought. So it's a game park. And I'm going to look for the star during the game. This is the little logo. It's like a wedding cake with the arch in the background. We get a little proposal. We see the new rings there. Again, both these sims are absolutely adorable, by the way. And then, okay, these chairs are new. These are beautiful wedding chairs. There is a lot of new stuff that looks like it's coming in this pack. I spotted a lot of new hairs. But in this in particular, these seem like potentially new decorations. This all here... I'm not really recognizing, but the chairs in particular, and maybe this shelf in the background here, all look super new. This is the high tea set that I noticed before. That's that picture again. Maybe this chair also being new. Is that plant? Maybe the plant as well, but I like the idea of the high tea set. I think that's really cool because I'm always like, how else can this pack add to your gameplay rather than just wedding? And I think if you have Sims, where especially you do like, you know, the decades challenge, high tea! would definitely help with that. If you do like a Regency thing, which I have done in the past, high tea would go along wonderfully with that. This little necklace situation looks new. Are you new? You feel new, definitely. This is hard for me because I don't really use the cast in-game stuff that much. I tend to use a lot of CC. So I often get these wrong. Apologies if so, but I am having a little nosy. And then I like this bit because we get a little bit of a view of the new park. So, sorry, of the new world. So this is a new world right here. It looks to me... It looks kind of like it's based on, and I'm just guessing, I might be completely wrong here, but I'm seeing like Southern Italy, Southern Spain. It's that kind of like Amalfi Coast sort of vibe. At least that's what I'm seeing, although it is very level, but I guess that's just Sims. It's not like based, it's not on a mountain, but I can see mountains in the background. We have the cute little lighthouse, but I love these buildings. These like all different color buildings along the seafront here. I think is really cute. This looks really nice as well. It's a little mansion on the hill there as well i wonder how many lots are in this i'm kind of predicting it's gonna be fairly low like maybe six but we shall see and then yeah this definitely reminds me of like shops in like marbella or around spain the cobbled streets the palm trees it feels to me very spanish 
but I haven't really been to Italy other than Florence. So I don't know. It could be a little bit Italian as well, but it's basically that Southern Mediterranean coastline. That's kind of what I'm seeing. And okay, so she's going dress shopping. I actually love a red wedding dress. I think they're beautiful. And thinking about her ideal dress, Look at this background, so pretty. And yeah, one thing I know from trying on wedding dresses is they never really end up the way you expect. I did try on some other wedding dresses. Let me just show you them real quick. So this is one dress I tried on and another one. I had brown hair. I actually had brown hair on my wedding, but it was a bit too low at the front. This one was pretty as well, but I wanted it to be a bit more fairy elfy. This is the dress I actually went for, but I changed the color and the pattern, but it's the same cut because I literally just feel like an elf in it. Here is another. I tried this has just turned into me talking about my wedding at this point and then this is another one i tried and that one i actually went for the color and the design of so i combined two dresses together which i thought was pretty cool because then it's like my personal dress you know but yeah she's having a bit of difficulty picking the dresses we have so many new flowers here which makes me so excited in the background i can see like an arch here with like light bulbs hanging off it which looks incredible i don't know if it's like a wedding arch that you could use as a ceremony it looks so good though i love it i love all the new plants i just love flowers this is gonna make me really excited there are a lot of new wedding dresses that are added with this park we've got quite a traditional one like this kind of floral one we've got this as well quite a traditional beautiful one like a layered one and then she ends up liking like the more like pantsuit style wedding dress which i think looks really good as well i love the front of this with the mesh and the flowers is actually really similar to mine because this is uh this is mesh. This next bit is cool as well because it looks like you can actually go and maybe just buy cake whenever, but you could also make it like your wedding cake tasting session. I love, love, love this little flower booty here. I feel like a lot of the stuff from this pack is very visually similar to a pack that has come out from the Plum Bob. T Society, PTS, yeah, yeah. They have an entire like rustic wedding pack, which I think complements this so well because it's stylistically almost identical. These little flower boxes are very cute. I like the stool with the flowers on it. I'm hoping that's a separate item that you can add. Oh, wow. Look at the beautiful headscarf with the flowers on. That's so nice. And okay, can I just... Oh, floral top. This is a very Ted Baker moment here. Cute little dress on this kid as well. Can I just show you this moment that I was laughing at in the trailer or the background? Watch the couple at the back. Look how she rejects the proposal. She literally slaps it out of his hand. Is doing a cheers part of the game already? I seem to remember being able to cheers. So maybe that is already in the game. This dress though looks kind of new. This one is definitely new. That dress is beautiful. Maybe this one at the back too. We're starting to see some of the new hairs pop up here. I am garbage at hairs, by the way, because I use alpha hairs, but I'm feeling like this hair and this one definitely feel new. This shirt also feels new with like the tie hanging down. A different variation on that chair with the flowers may be here too. But I'm wondering if this is like a gold event. And I'm also wondering whether some Sims can actually feel worried about the wedding and how the game is going to do that. Is this a single and loving it Sim? Or is it a non-committal Sim? What will give the Sims this little emotion here? Does it randomly occur in certain Sims? If they haven't been together a long time, will it occur? And I think the Woo Woo Wellness mod is a mod that kind of adds all of these random encounters where certain sims will feel a certain way. And I'm wondering if this has now been implemented in the game as well. It'd be very cool if it was, but I'm not holding out hope that it will be random. I think it will be tied to traits. And okay, there is a lot in this scene. So look at this. That is a really like modern and quite like a popular style now for your wedding arch. Sort of like hexagonal or triangular, like sort of vibes in the background. Very cool, very modern. This all looks so beautiful. I love this dress with the little um, heart in the back for kids. I feel like this is the hair that we saw before. I feel like it's new. And this hair, I also feel like is new with the little um, headband. Another new chair variation, by the way, there with the sash at the back. This is a beautiful dress, by the way. She looks amazing. This, oh my gosh, is this new? Because this looks so much like the Rustic Romance Park. Were they involved in making this? Because at this point, it's it's very identical. He's also got a flower in his suit, which I like. I love these flowers here too. Oh, wow, the windows. Maybe they're not new. Are they new? I feel like maybe they're new. Oh, and the cute little toddler's dress as well. Very cute. The toddler actually has an animation to add to the wedding here. Is that actually like an animation that will happen? Or is that like a scripted event? I'm not sure. Her dress is beautiful, by the way. That ends up being their love story. Oh, look at her. Is this like a new emotion as well? She's doing the... 
awkward and we're not getting married vibe. You can actually currently when you're at the aisle, I didn't realize this for so long, but you can click the arch and choose to cancel the wedding and there will be a whole fallout from that. But this almost seems a bit different. This is her like saying that she maybe doesn't want to get married anymore before she even gets up the aisle. So that might be new. This hairpiece looks new. In fact, this hair with it pinned up looks new. Her dress is beautiful. We're seeing more of this gorgeous new world as well. Ooh, flowers on the piano. Hello. Another new chair or another variation of a chair. And this at the background, the pergola. Is that pergola new? Oh, that's so pretty. And the flowers coming up the aisle and the sash arch. I love as well. And more flowers. More new flowers. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is someone officiating the wedding? He's not just stood there, right? This is actually somebody officiating the wedding. No freaking way. You can choose someone to officiate. <gasps> I love that. Because usually they just stood there. And they're kind of just doing the vows themselves. Whereas usually you do have someone guiding your wedding. So that's really cool. We actually had Ali's dad do it for us, which is real nice. I mean, this is all the regular animations. But... The doves coming up, that's new. That is, that's a new dress. The doves coming up is definitely new. New flowers as well. He also has a different flower here as well. And a look, look at the little bow tie. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And this, oh my gosh. So I used to have an animation that added slow dancing as a mod to Sims 4. Oh, hello. Hello, Oh, <gasps> Is that fondue? Wait, no, this is pink. These foods look new and this definitely looks new. This, by the way, in the background. Can we just talk about this for a hot sec? I'm hoping these are isolated so I can put them in other places rather than just the pergola. But this is so pretty. I love it. And look, a little board, a seating plan for where you sit. Can you actually choose where your sims sit? I really freaking hope so. But finally, slow dancing is back. Slow dancing, obviously a big part of previous games. And now we can slow dance again, which is exciting. And this cake, the cake is new as well. The top piece is the same. The flowers and stuff and the stand, that's new. That in the background is new too, I think. And throwing. I'm hoping that this isn't just them doing it for the trailer. This is a new dress. I'm really hoping that this is actually a new feature you can like do in the game and throw the bouquet. And maybe the people that get the bouquet get like a challenge to find a significant other in the next seven days or something. That would be very cool. And he catches his bouquet and he ends up meeting somebody, which is nice. Oh, hello. Is that a new bar? New bar and that new shelf again in the background. Very cool. Okay. Also, this this whole situation. Let the dance floor. Oh my gosh, how did I miss the whole dance floor? This looks very cool. Okay. And please tell me there's an animation for dancing with children. But equally, please tell me there's one for like dancing with toddlers, maybe holding them in your arms and doing a dance. That would be cute, but I feel like if there was, they would have shown it. But at least you can now dance with children, you know? I want to pause here because I love this. So there's a few different things going on here. I've got to say when I originally looked at this and I still think that, uh, oh, I've just got what it is. He has a Chinese background and she potentially an Indian background. So this is a combination of a traditional Chinese wedding and a traditional Indian wedding because we have the saris and she looks beautiful. I love these new items. Oh my gosh, these are so nice. This board, it looks like you can customize it based on what wedding you're having and his traditional dress as well. <gasps> and the background, oh my gosh, look at the background. Gorgeous. These caught my eye in the trailer and I just looked at it and saw it as like, oh, they've added beautiful like, you know, saris and Indian wedding dress. I totally missed on the first viewing that they also have these gorgeous items for a Chinese wedding as well. Oh, look at the cake in the background, the red cake. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is amazing. They've actually added weddings from different cultures as well, which I think is really important and absolutely beautiful items too. Look at these. Look at the lanterns. Wow, I missed half of this on the first viewing, so that's very cool. And then we see them renewing their vows. Another two new outfits here too. I'm looking, is there any new flowers? This is another variation of what we saw before. So it looks like an entire set that maybe you can have the cake in the middle or you can have the like fondue fountain style vibes. That's the pergola with a different top and a different wedding arch as well. Oh, like a traditional kind of like a wood sort of style one. That's really nice. Different color flowers going up here. There is a lot. I love this new background. Oh my gosh. Love, 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 love. And there we go. Together forever. And that is beautiful. So say I do February 17th. That is when the new pack comes out. What was quite cool is whilst there were these physical versions sent out, there was actually an entire like web experience as well. For Dominique and Camille getting married in 
Tatosa. Tatosa. Tatosa or Tatosa? I think it's Tatosa. And there was the wedding live stream. You can view their story, the trailer, and the blog post. And famed for its wedding industry, Tatosa is Tatosa. Tatosa? Tatosa. Oh my gosh. It's rich with beautiful venue options. We consider the beach and the forest, as well as the local estate and a church. Ultimately, we decided on a garden wedding. So that sounds to me like there's a bunch of new wedding locations that are added to the game, which is actually confirmed because some game changers worked on them. Dressing up, we did some window shopping in the village. So that's the bit we saw with the wedding shop here. Oh, look at the beautiful red, uh, black wedding dress. Sorry, I love that. And that new hair piece that we saw too. And the theme for a garden wedding, nothing is more appropriate than florals. We had a ton of decor options from everything from the cakes, the bouquets, seats, table setups, and more. So I've got to admit, after being so relieved that we finished planning our wedding, because a lot goes into it, it's stressful. There are so many decisions to make. I was kind of glad that it was all over. And then I saw that the new theme was planning a wedding and I was like, oh no, I don't want to do this again. But maybe it's quite fun for doing it for Sims. We shall see. These cakes, there is a beautiful rainbow cake. I'm appreciating the pride inclusion there. This one looks like it has two little owls on top. A cow font cake, which is really freaking cool. This is like a play on the one that was included in the game already but with flowers and then we've got new columns or like a fence sort of situation we've got the boards that you have to have to like tell you guess what you're doing you've got lots of new arches and i'm loving the new pergola and oh my gosh look at the rainbow flowers what and then there is also a blog post to go alongside it. So let's check that out. Introducing Tatosa. So it's meant to be the most romantic world in all of Sims 4. The sunsets are heart-stopping, the beaches are breathtaking, the gardens are astonishing, and the waterfalls are awe-inspiring. It's a paradise made for love. So you'll be able to creatively discover different sides of oneself to plan out many versions of your Sims dream wedding. I wonder if you'll get likes and dislikes, new ones based on this. And you can plan out many versions, the ceremony, participants, decor, dress code, cake, location, and more. And there's also pre-wedding festivities, which we saw in the trailer. You can be spontaneous and just elope at the city hall. And you can also spend time selecting that flawless ring in creator sim. So one thing that kind of annoys me about the game is when you get engaged or when you get married, it doesn't automatically, at least in my game, but mods may have broken it. It doesn't add a ring to your sim. And I guess not everyone does it, but I think it would be quite a cool thing to have because I don't like adding a ring to every single outfit. Like it's just annoying. So if it does that, that would be very cool. And you can plan an engagement party, a bachelor party, and or a rehearsal dinner. Okay, that's cool. Weddings are about to get very expensive in The Sims. <gasps> and you can also do toasts, speeches, food, gifts, and dancing, as well as choosing a sim of honor. <gasps> Oh, that's so freaking cool. I love that. So you can choose everything. You don't have to do a dance. You can move on to setting a date. So you can have a date planned in advance. That's very cool. I'm really excited to see the forested inland as well because I don't feel like I saw... Oh, it's the bra tree. I bet it's the bra tree. So there's extravagant ballrooms, sunset laden beaches, peaceful gardens. We've also crowded with community creators. So there is Ice Munman's Garden Palace of Vows. I have some of their CC in my game, it's amazing. Centurial Harmony Garden by Catherine Games YouTube. And I also spotted that Hari, who as you guys know, I love their CC. I'm actually gonna be trying out some new ones this week. They've also created a venue as well, I believe. So you can go from flowery white grounds to the reds and henna. Worn by Hindu brides, there's a look for everyone. Love that. And look, you can select your cake topper and there's endless options and combos, which is great. Ooh, hello window. So you can send down your flower pal <gasps> and ring berry down the aisle. If you can make a little toddler a flower girl, that will make me so happy. <gasps> And you can also have someone give you away. Of course, her ex gave her away in the trailer. Oh, I love that. My dad gave me away and it was so emotional. You can have a slow dance, a rehearsed twirl and dip. We did that. And then you can do line dancing. Wow, okay. More beautiful outfits here again. And you have a lifetime together, starting with photos you captured, vacations you planned. I'm wondering how they make this easier or like more planned at the moment because like this wedding photo is great but you wouldn't be able to get this in The Sims without a lot of effort to put on your wall. So I'm hoping they make that easier or maybe give us like a post-wedding album that goes in your inventory with a bunch of like key moments captured. 
that sims team if you could do that that would be amazing because otherwise it's really hard to like get good photos to put on your sims wall that process needs to be made so much easier and you can go on a honeymoon which is cool so there were a few other things that i spotted as this trailer was kicking off yesterday so the first thing was a tweet by flower pulse guru frost who showed that we now have the option to please take your seats so this is something i think shouldn't be just to the park i don't think they will do this but this should not be exclusive to the park because this is something every sim is deserves to have regardless of whether they have the wedding pack or not. Not being able to make The Sims sit and watch the wedding seems like the biggest oversight and I can't believe it's been in the game for like what eight years. How can your Sims not watch the wedding? So I'm really glad they're adding this. The annoying part of me is like it's a little bit too late. It could have saved me so much pain but I'm glad it is finally added and I'm hoping it comes as a free update for all. I also saw Molly, who is the English simmer, who is lovely, by the way. Please, please, please tell me this pack finally allows you to invite every family friend to an event and it's not tied to a single sim that you plan it with. So currently, if you plan a wedding and say if I pick my bride to plan the wedding, she can invite all the people she knows, but it doesn't combine the known list of both sims. I find this so annoying because basically you have to be introduced to everyone you want to invite to any event before you plan the event or else you won't be able to get them to come it is again a huge oversight i think there should be almost like a family phone book and i also think friends from everyone in the family should be available in the friends tab or the family tab i'm really hoping they add this and i agree with molly that it should be a base game update i also would personally love to be able to opt in to having more than eight sims at an event because if your pc can run more than eight sims you should get the option to do it like we shouldn't just be tied into like the lower spec option if you want to invite 20 sims for your wedding and lose the frame rate so be it allow that to happen like allow us to be able to do that don't limit us because who invites eight sims to a wedding like in the sims i sometimes want to just be able to have a huge party and you can only do that currently with mods and that's super frustrating so totally agree with molly and i would add being able to up the cup per event i also saw chani tweet out who is also lovely by the way that this screenshot kind of made it look like maybe they were adding an attraction system to the game However, somebody else has said that actually they use this exact same thing with cats and dogs. So it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. So all in all, I am cautiously optimistic for this pack. I'm really excited to give it a go when it comes out on the 17th. If you guys are excited as well, please let me know in the comments below if there's anything I missed. Also, please chat about it in the comments below because I'll be reading your comments to see if there's anything your eagle eyes spotted. And I'm just glad I got a chance to wear my wedding dress one probably one final time because let's face it this was a struggle my tummy is like get me out of this dress right now so it's gonna be my final opportunity to wear it and uh this is a great wedding dress accessory don't you think and it's always fun feeling like a princess elf bride in your wedding dress so thank you for the opportunity to wear this again and i will see you guys in another video bye